Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And I've got an interesting beer for you guys today. I'm kind of excited about this one. This is from Samuel Adams. This is part of their Batch 1 series that they call it. It's a limited series of beers that they put out. This one is Griffin's Bow. It's an 11.5% blonde barley wine aged on oak chips and it's hopped with New Zealand hops including Nelson Sabin and Zeus. So yeah, it sounds interesting from the start. When I'm a big fan of uh, New Zealand hops, I think that's going to be one of the next big things in the craft beer world. Um, we're already starting to see it. So I'm really excited slash pessimistic slash optimistic about this beer. Um, so let me get into a glass so that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on the Samuel Adams Griffin's Bow. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Griffin's Bow. It's a beautiful, beautiful light orange. Um, it gets even lighter where the light's hitting the curves of the glass there. There was a nice finger's worth of a, it's a white head on there. I wouldn't say bright white, definitely white though. Nice big bubbles around the edges, nice tight white bubbles in the middle. Nice carbonation coming off the side of the glass. Really, really clear. I can see straight through to the other side. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking beer. All right, guys, the aroma on the Griffin's Bow. Wow, big, big, pungent New Zealand hops in this one. Peaches, mangoes, it's like overly ripe peaches. Um, there's a nice astringency to it. Definitely getting a little bit of the oak character, some oak tannin in there. Big, big, sweet, chewy malt character coming out. Touch of alcohol, but like 11%, you really don't get all that much. Wow, yeah, it smells like a big, sweet, fruity, oaked barley wine. I mean, exactly the description. It's just a really, really nice smelling beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the Griffin's Bow. Cheers. Wow. That is really, really a nice beer. Right at the front of the tongue, big, big hot characters. I'm getting those sweet peaches. Uh, mangoes, tropical fruits, papaya, pineapple from those hops in there. Middle of the mouth, this thing just kind of soars. Big bready notes, sweet, malty bready notes. Blending with those hops in the front, I'm getting more of the oakiness in the front. Definitely kind of a, a sweet, kind of woody, lemony character coming out. Um, nice kind of semi-sweet finish, aftertaste, definitely more caramel malts, toffee, sweet breadiness. Getting more of those New Zealand hops coming out though. It's blending with this peach and this mango and this pineapple. Um, it's, it's, a, it's unlike any barley wine I've ever had. You know, you expect these big caramel toffee bombs. This one is these big kind of overly ripe tropical fruits with some oak, with some caramel, with some toffee. And it really, really does come together. It is a quite hot beer, but like I said, almost 12%. You know, I would expect it. I do taste the alcohol. I do feel it burning, but it does kind of help clean the palate. Um, nice, nice carbonation on this one. It does, again, help to clean the palate as well. So overall, though, it's a really, really interesting beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Samuel Adams Griffin's Bow, 11.5% limited edition. Get it while you can. Guys, I'm going to give this one a B plus. I had no idea what to expect going into this. I'm like, ah, Samuel Adams, they're doing a barley wine, da 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 But the New Zealand hops they used and the oak chips really, really helped to elevate this beer. Sure, it's not the most complex thing you're going to ever have, but you really get a good picture of what New Zealand hops can do for a beer. They bring out these tropical fruits, these pears, these peaches, pineapples, and they just blend so nicely. They have a white wine characteristic that really starts to come out in this one. It's a sipper beer, but yeah, you know, it just, it's a, a palate cleanser. It really is. It's a nice bright kind of citrusy taste, nice carbonation to help keep the beer moving. It's just a really, really interesting beer, and I'm really pleasantly surprised. It's awesome stuff, and I really highly recommend you guys try this. You're probably going to be able to try it. Um, get it around you, I should say. So with that said, getting a B plus from me, definitely check this one out. This is a surprise. Not going to lie to you. So with that said, folks, remember life is too short. Drink amazing beer. Cheers. <laughs>